Hi, I'm Leandra from Paper Artsy, and tonight we've got some new products for you from Sarah Newman. She's done two lovely Christmas plates, and we've got some fantastic samples to show you with these. Um, lots of elements, some gorgeous quotes. Um, they don't have to be really Christmassy, though. They could really lend themselves to other times of the year as well. Um, there is the odd Christmas um, mention, but she's been quite careful about sort of working them out so that they can go at other times of the year too. So let's start with this one. This is ESN17. Got a couple of samples from Sarah and she's always um, really bold in her use of colour and she's great how she just swoops on some paint and then stamps over the top of it and uses very simple embellishments but it's quite striking. I, I love all the mix up of fonts how she pulls together her um, her quotes and this one here is using that lovely um, branch there and she's just coloured it so love, so delicately with greens and blues. Numbers down the side may, adds a nice touch. And we've got a few other samples from other people as well. Here's um, a gorgeous one from Karen Baker. And look at the detail that she's done in this. Crazy fussy cutting. She needs an award for that. <laughs> Lots of, um, but just it makes a gorgeous wreath. And then we've got um, this, another um, mixed media background from Alison Hall. She's got a tag layered on top. And I really like how she's used this tiny little dot stamp here in red and just put that in amongst that branch so it sort of looks like berries. And this one in the same vein. Great with the tag and the quote stamped on the tag. This sample here is from Lucy, and again, Lucy had the same wreath idea. Very cool. And she's done this one quite differently, more sort of a flower pot arrangement. And then we've got a few samples that have come from Wanda. And she's also used the little red dots there, add a bit of pop of, of colour. Love the use of red with that. And a braid background here with some great um, detail on the front. A nice little bit of yarn around the bottom there too. Okay, let's look at the next stamp plate. This one's called ESN18. And as you can see, it all comes trimmed out, ready to go. Nice detail there with the stamps and the music. So this one's from Sarah Newman herself so she's got a swoosh of the green color a little bit of blue on top and that pop of red ribbon and another card here love that love how she's got the words going different directions and from Wanda she's done a resist technique so she's got the bird stamped there and then a swoosh of ink And this is also from Wanda. Great colour in the background there, lots of different colours. As is this one, so she's got a bit of crackle going on. And now a sample from Karen Baker. So she's looks like she's inked up the stamp and then stamped this word stamp onto the red rubber which has just removed a little bit of ink so that then when she stamps the bird, there's some more interesting detail on there. And she's got the branches again. She's gone crazy with her fussy cutting. And then on this one here, she's created a shadow. Very simple. Karen's so clever with her subtle use of color. Really subtle frame around the edge there. Crackle background with embossing in white. We're seeing a lot of the designers emboss in white. This one's um, a lovely card from Lucy. Love the splatter on that. And then a much more textural piece. So she's really got lots of texture in the bottom of this canvas board here and then created a few flowers with buttons. And then the last two samples for these stamps are from Alison Hall. And um, she's done one of her lovely mixed media backgrounds. A 
and again another one here. Just sets it off with that black ink rubbed around the edge there as well. So these stamps are available now from your local Paper Artsy stockist. Do go to the Paper Artsy blog to check out the links of who's got them in stock now. Um, we love it when you support our independent retailers.